All right. All right, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Where should we start? Uh, nine cards. Uh, Soft Tarot, Alistair Kramnik. Hmm. Uh, Columnist, the holiday reading. A couple weeks behind the divination for all these zodiac signs. But, uh, uh, I think she's still, she's still got the touch here, this, uh, message. This message here. We got nine cards. We got, uh, five of swords. Hero font. And the Ace of Cups at the top row here. It's more of a story than it is the uh, before, now, after, and so on. More of a story. So let's start out. Let's see if we get the camera to focus. Look at that beautiful card. That beautiful art. Uh, it's a card nobody likes. Nobody likes the Five of Swords to defeat. That's just a temporary thing. Uh, it does the five of swords does kind of convey weakness but that's okay sometimes you take a hard hit sometimes your dog dies you know you go out from the woods and you sit everything's sad but look at this card it's got a up it's got a it's, look it's got an upside down pentagram I mean take some solace in that Five swords making an upside down pentagram. The way is hard, but don't shy away from it. That's just how it is. Oh, that's what the hero font here says. Yeah, the way is hard, but suck it up. Hero font, divine wisdom. Of course, it means divine wisdom. What else would this card mean? But it is kind of like a friendly messenger kind of thing. Like, it's going to be alright. Defeat does not mean all is lost. Setback, strife. Eh, it happens. And then we have Ace of Cups, which, I mean, I don't know. If you died and saw that image, you probably think you're in the, you're in the clear. Pleasure and happiness. Ace of Cups. Kind of tells a little, it's got a little kind of a rhyme going on here. Your dog dies, your crops die, whatever. Whatever century, whatever avatar, whatever. And then the hero font's like smiling at you. He's got his peace sign out. Breaking bath and met. Friendly bath. The friendly bath. Upside down star, right side up star. <laughs> and then a cup of freaking gold. Obviously, meta. Yeah. Material gain. And if you see this card right here, it typically means money. Well, we got another star. How many stars? A lot of stars in these cards, I guess. Hmm. Material gain. And then next to it is the other one. It's the uh, fortune card. Fortune comes just in time. Good, 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 good. Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands. Mm. If a person has so much gain after her suffering and defeat, the temptation would be to be smug. Tonal, stupid, shallow, asshole. Don't do that. That'd be a big test to fail. And we finish it off with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Got another nice little. Mm. Success after anxiety. Success after anxiety. That's right below here. 
So look at the similar in color. No defeat. Weakness. Feeling down. Feeling out. And then we have success. Almost the same colors. Right down here. No. But then this card. We ignore the name. Those are just guideposts. Failure. Seven of gifts. Honorable work for honor, not money. Oh, that's talking about the higher self. Yeah, if you pass this big test, you probably connect better with not indulging the avatar. And the moon card says what? What does the moon card say? Voluntary change. Positive, of course. Of course, yes. So we have a place of defeat. A good message from divine. A divine message for providence, material gain, divine fortune, we have temptation, so the test comes right here, this reflects success, you will pass the test, let's start it at this whole thing, honorable work for honor, ascending beyond the limitations and the needs and the wants of the human avatar, and a voluntary positive change, secrets, astral. Mm. That's actually a pretty good reading. I uh, have my doubts at the first. <laughs> you lucked out there, Taurus. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom.